Determine the reactions at D and F, and P is 1,500 pounds. All right, so our free body diagram. It's going to cut through as little as possible. We'll sneak under here at F, and then cut through the pin at D. All right, so at F, you can see that we have a rocker. So that means we have only one unknown here. So that's Fy. And over at D, we have our pin, and I'm going to assume dx is to the right, and I'll assume dy is up. Okay, well, the next thing that I think I would probably do is go ahead and take the um, force at a and break it up into its two components. Okay, of course one is cosine and one is sine and P is 1500 pounds. So this works out to be 750 here and this one's 1300. Well we have two unknowns over at D so let's take moments about D. that will get rid of dx and dy and should give us fy. Alright, well moments about d, you can see that this 750 at a goes right through the pin at d, so there is no perpendicular distance, but the 1300 does have a perpendicular distance and is 4 plus 4 plus 4. Alright, so we have 1300 times the 12 feet and that is positive rotation. Then we have Fy and the perpendicular distance is this four feet right here. So solving for Fy we get 3,900 pounds. Got a correct answer, or uh, got a positive value. So our up word arrow is correct. Alright, and now summation of the forces in the x equals zero. So we have 750, negative 750, right, it's to the left, plus dx Therefore, dx is equal to 750 pounds. And since we got a positive value, the arrow is correct. And then the last thing is summation of forces in the y equals zero. So over a, we have our negative 1300. plus Fy plus dy. And we already know Fy is 3900. So solving for dy, we actually would get a negative value here for dy. So that means the arrow is not up, but it should be down. 2,600 pounds down.